Did you know that there are microplastics in the water we drink every day? According to the World Health Organization, these microplastics can come from sources like the plastic bottles you drink from. Three students who recently joined the N Explorers competition developed by Shell and delivered by Science Centre Singapore came up with an idea that might help solve this problem. We are C2H4 filter feeders from Nanyang Girls High. The competition we are taking part in is called uh, N Explorers 2020 and we joined this competition because we hope to use our passion for science to be able to make a change for our environment. Our main concept of this project is to use our device which we designed called the Micro Vortex to be able to filter out the microplastics which are in the water. Microplastics are very, very small pieces of plastic. Sometimes these plastics are broken down from larger pieces. These plastics can, uh, are also carcinogens in a way. Uh, so they cause us cancer. It's best we just remove these plastics from, from what we drink and what we eat because they're they are actually abundant everywhere. I think there was a research that was done. It was like how they actually found uh, microplastics in breast milk, human breast milk. So I think that really tells us how like microplastics can really affect our daily lives, especially like since, um, you know, children are already starting to consume uh, microplastics since young. So we encountered the Science Friday website where we uh, learned about the manta rays and so we uh, took our inspiration from that and basically from that we incorporated the concepts into this uh, funnel shaped device which is our micro vortex so there will be ridges at the side and we will use the centrifugal force to be able to filter out the microplastics that are in the water it, it will be incorporated with reverse osmosis what it does to reduce the cost is actually it removes some of the solid particles first so that uh, the water that goes through the reverse osmosis like the membrane only needs to filter out like uh, in uh, soluble particles like salt and uh, germs and viruses and stuff like that. Firstly, it's COVID-19 season, so we are all on camera most of the time when we were working on the project. So the process was like slowed down by this. And also we can't do any testing. And then the prototype making was also like made individually. Actually, Science Centre did organise a few workshops and like uh, learning journeys that we could go on so that we could expose ourselves to more knowledge. So then we were able to learn different methods to be able to um, think of ideas as well as see how feasible they were and if they would be able to be implemented into the current world. She told us herself that she wasn't really a science person, but I think she contributed like more on like teaching us the soft skills. Um, for example, how do we present better? Because we had to pitch. She also taught us like some tones that we can adopt in our presentation because the most generic presentation is just standing at the front and just talking about your product like like, like an advertisement like this. But then uh, she told us that we can incorporate some like. Like, like a bit of elements like of a skit to make it more interesting. Like we're actually interacting with each other. It's like a conversation, more like a presentation. Um, students should try to participate in more of these kind of uh, competitions so that they can expose themselves to like the current world instead of just staying in the classroom. They are good, they are good opportunities for students to uh, create something of their own, uh, just come up with an idea, and just like compile it all up to create a final product. It's a it's a skill sometimes. In uh, depends on what job you wanna take in the future, but yeah, it's a good skill to have. The champions of Nexplorers 2020 are. Team C2H4 Filter Feeders from Nanyang Girls High School. <laughs>